है हाय गाइस दिस इज ओडू फिफ्टीन डेवलपमेंट सीरीज एंड टुडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू ऐड अ स्टेटस बार एंड देन वी कैन ऐड डिफरेंट बटन्स एंड एक्शंस एज वेल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इफ दिस इज जस्ट फॉर प्रैक्टिस आई हैव एडेड अ लाइब्रेरी मॉड्यूल एंड बैक एंड साइड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो यू So here, <clears throat> this is the library module. This is the Palm View. She view just set it for practice and just for the video purposes. I'm just showing you. And this is the model, which is library dot book. So what we do, we just want to add status bar. So for that, we will add a field, and that field name we can add any any name. Okay, we just add it state. Secret three fields, dot selection, and okay. We can add different states. So first of all, we can just say that it's new, and this is how it should look. We can copy this. and we can say here used so what is the plan i just want to add a status bar where i just want one is new state and second is the used one because this is a library books system and here i can also say okay we can also use default and we say default is new it's our choice if you want or not okay uh next step is to add this field status bar in our view which is this here so first of all this is our form view and always please remember that when we will add status bar we will add it in header so we can add header here in our form view okay cool in header we will just add our uh status bar field which is with a state of course then for status bar we have to use widget which will be status bar cool guys so this is how we will add it on our form view okay let's upgrade the module so this is our module let's go on applications and i will upgrade my module okay the module has been upgraded if i go in library and if i just click on any record so you can see here the status bar has been added and because i have already said in my code python code that default should be new so if i go there in my record i can see the status bar has been already selected new so this is how we can uh, define a status bar and we can add on our view the next step i want to show you how we can add button in our header and how we can add some action to the button so let's start with creating a button so here for creating a button let's go in our form view and in header we have already added a status bar so just below this we can say that we can our button string will be uh we say that used used book so we are creating a button uh which string will be a used book and we say name is uh 
I will call it action used book right guys and um, with this button linkage is is I say that states will be new so um, when state will be new this button will be visible which is used book and we say that its type is object cool. sorry okay so this is how we have created an in our form view a use book button and this is the name and with this button visibility we can see the new state will be and it's an object okay let's copy this name and we need to go now in our python file and we need to define an action for this button which is of course the name so we say this action itself as you know how to create a function and simple step is there so we say that uh, this is in self we say self dot state when we press this button the state will be we say used simple is that so when we will press this button our state will be shifted from new to used so let's upgrade this module and i just go and of my module go in applications and also upgrade from there cool module has been upgraded let's go to our module library and when we click on our in any record we can see a button is there which string we have already given used book and we have added action to this button when we will press this it will be shifted status bar will be shifted from new to used so let's do this so it's it has been shifted to use now so it's very simple this is how we can add status bar and uh, buttons and also the relevant actions to the buttons um i i think we should also add another button here which will be uh, so this book is in the category of used so we need a new button here which will be a new string and when we will press again this book will be shifted from used to new string let's do this so we just need to go in our visual studio code go in our form view let's just copy this whole another button and i say here a uh, new book this is the string of the button action let's call this action new book and state it will be visible when the state will be used that's logical and now we go in our python file just copy this function and this this will be the oh sorry the function is control c and this one will be here action new book and we say self dot state will be new when this button will be pressed our state will be new so let's upgrade our module now let's upgrade our module go in applications okay the module has been upgraded we go in our module click on library and click on any file so you see uh, this book has and it, it's in the category of used in status bar status bars uh, is used when we press new book it's new now and if you want to use the used book so this is how we control with buttons this is how we add action to our buttons uh, this is very a basic example but the idea was to just differentiate uh, in between status bar buttons and actions uh, in my next video that will be different topic about Odoo 15 development maybe I will use a different module just to show that not all the time the same kind of uh, values and uh, records so 
be good uh thank you so much take care of yourself and if you will like this video please uh like it and subscribe the channel if you like thank you so much see you again